Hey, what's up everyone? Oh yeah, I'm gonna hold this by hand, so if it rocks a little too much, oh well. But hey, I, I was thinking the other night, <clears throat> you know, with uh, about ACDC and uh, with Brian Johnson, you know, if you haven't heard yet, ACDC singer, if he doesn't quit ACDC, he's gonna go deaf. So he obviously already has probably some pretty major hearing damage. And I remember, <clears throat> I just thought this was so interesting because I never heard anybody else talk about it, at least not in my circle, you know, friends and musicians. But back in the 80s, um, when I first heard Crocus, the singer Mark Storacci, am I saying that right? You know, I heard them when uh, I think the first song was uh, Eat the Rich and Screaming in the Night. Those were the two songs um, off the Headhunter album, which is a really good album, by the way, from Crocus. And I know this can't be just me, and obviously I know it's not because that's partly what made me want to do this video to get your guys' opinion on it. But I remember even back being 13 years old, <clears throat> 14 years old, hearing Crocus. I don't know what year Headhunter came out. Maybe it was 84, or 85. I don't. I don't remember. But uh, early 80s, nonetheless. Just thinking how much Mark Storacci sounds like really. More so Bon Scott, ACDC's first singer. Um, but, you know, Brian Johnson kind of sounded a little bit like Bon Scott, too. Um, similar in their styles, you know. That gravelly, sandpapery, you know. I think Bon Scott had a little more character to his voice, you know, when you hear how he sang Dirty Deeds and stuff. Uh, but anyways, Brian Johnson's been with them ever since, you know, from uh, the Black album, Back in Black. Um, and is just fit ball and glove with ACDC been with them since and then now I'm hearing and you know I don't know what's factual or what's not you know um, but that actually I did read an interview with Mark Storacci from Crocus um, about the possibility of him becoming the singer for ACDC you know he said he hasn't been approached by um, the band you know Angus or anybody about it but something about the record label had kind of brought it up to Mark from Crocus. So um, it just kind of tripped me, man. I was like, no way. I remember thinking how much I thought Mark could fit with ACDC back in like 1983, 84, going, oh my God, if there's ever a singer that sounds like he would fit ACDC, it would be Mark. And in the interview, he said he'd be down, you know. He would definitely do it. You know, he, he loves the band Crocus, but um, he would take the opportunity. Who wouldn't, you know? ACDC's iconic. And I thought I read somewhere that he was asked about joining ACDC a long time ago. I don't know if this is before Brian Johnson joined or what. I guess it would have had to be, right? Um, so I don't know. Just wanted to start a little conversation about it and see see if you guys, you know, if you're if you're my age or a little older, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, and I actually found some songs, some demos of Mark singing some ACDC songs. So I know it's not just me, but, um, you know, it had samples of Dirty Deeds and just, uh, I, I forget, there was like three or four um, I was listening to last night. I'm going, wow, man, this could totally happen. This could totally happen. So, I mean, it, as sad as it is to see Brian Johnson go, he's been with them for so long. You know, you, what's the point if you're going to go deaf? You know, what a nightmare for a singer that's like us guitar players, you know, losing our fingers all of a sudden, you know. Um, so what do you guys think about that? About Mark from Crocus being the, the singer for ACDC? You know, I hope ACDC continues on. They don't call it quits. But if they do continue on, I am telling you, Mark Storacci is the dude. Uh, for you younger people that are here, if you're not sure who he is, go look up Crocus. Uh, my favorite album from them was Headhunter. You know, you can hear Screaming in the Night and eat the rich and headhunter um but uh yeah it's be an interesting turn of events so we'll have to be watching and, and see what goes on um i would love to see it happen what do you guys think all right subscribe to this channel a little bit of q a time man it's been a while right so uh keep rocking see ya